Hi class, I'm going to be teaching you today what to do in the case that you have a pencil that's not sharpened. So instead of getting up during class and going to the pencil sharpener and making this mess, can you imagine if I was trying to teach how that was going to be, or you were trying to read a book? Could you even hear me? That's hard to hear, isn't it, when someone's sharpening a pencil? And I've had that happen a lot of times where I'm trying to teach and someone needs their pencil sharpened or someone's reading a book right next to the pencil sharpener and someone comes back and uses the pencil sharpener. And I want you to hear that one time. That's pretty loud. And yet, we love the electric pencil sharpener because it is such a great tool to get sharp pencils. All right, so we have a problem here, right? The pencil sharpener is pretty loud. Our pencil is dull and we need to get it sharpened. So, with some students' help, we've developed this system, and it's a pretty good system. We have a bucket here that says sharp, and we've labeled a bucket here that says not sharp. And so, what we'll do is you will bring your pencil that is not sharp, and you'll put it in the not sharp bucket. And then you'll be able to go to the sharp bucket and get a sharp pencil out and just go get right to work. So that's a pretty simple system, isn't it? So part of this is that someone has to sharpen all these pencils. So normally, you would just come back and get your sharp pencil and a story. Now, if I ask you or if another adult in the classroom asks you to be in charge of sharpening pencils, your job might be, sometimes there is a bucket that has just a bunch of pencils in here. So your job might be to look at the pencils and you're going to look at the buckets, sharp and not sharp, and start sorting them. Not sharp. Not sharp. Ooh, sharp. Sharp. Not sharp. Am I doing it in the right buckets? I am. Not sharp. Not sharp. Not sharp. Not sharp. And not sharp. Sharp. All right, do I need to do anything with the sharp bucket? All of these pencils in here already have a great sharpened lead and they're ready to go. So I don't need to do anything with the sharp bucket. The not sharp bucket. I'm going to take the not sharp bucket and the pencil sharpener and I'm going to head to the hallway. Now, because I'm making a video right now, we're just going to pretend I'm already in the hallway. So let's pretend I'm out in the hallway and I've got my not sharp bucket and I've plugged in the pencil sharpener and it is ready to go. What I'm going to do is to take one of the not sharpened pencils and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going, oops, stop there. I'm going to keep it in here until the green light comes on. So maybe you'll be able to see that. Actually this one, the red light shuts off when it's sharpened. So another thing that I want you to make sure that you see is there's different holes here. And for the most part, we are going to use the smallest, the second to the smallest hole. We'll turn it until we're right here. This is the smallest, and then this is the next one. And there's also a little, kind of just a little marker here to show that that's the right one. So you just line it up with this, and that's how you'll know what to sharpen. So we'll do one more. Kind of let it spin as it sharpens. Okay, beautiful sharpened pencil. Um, one of our sharpeners turns green here when it's ready to go, and this one just the red light shuts off when it's sharpened. And you'll kind of get an idea of that because you'll be able to tell which one when it's sharpened. All right, so now I have a sharp one. I put it over in the sharp bucket. Okay, so that is the basic basic idea of this system that we have in place. So. If I ask you to sharpen pencils, you can take the not sharp bucket and sharpen all the pencils. You can either collect them in a pile or you could bring the sharp bucket with you and start putting them in. Just make sure you don't get them mixed up because that gets a little confusing. The other part of this job is to make sure you empty the pencil um, sharpenings so they all go down into this container here. This is a little tricky to get off but not too hard. So you just pull this off. And if you'll notice, inside of here is where all the sharpening, the wood shavings are. And so you just take this to the garbage can, and you tip it up and get rid of those wood shavings. 
So now it's empty, and then I just put it back together. Sometimes as you're sharpening, you'll have to do that. You kind of have to watch to see when it gets filled up. And sometimes this shuts off if it's too full. So, all right, that is our video on what to do with a dull pencil.